home is where your heart is. Most people say, oh, I'm not, I don't stay that much at home. But you know what? After a big, long day, where do you come back? It's your home. Your home needs to be a haven that makes you feel like you belong, that you're safe and you're secured and you're loved. And this place does that for me. Hi, LBB. This is Lakshmi. Welcome to my home tour. So, how can I go inside without showing you these two gorgeous paintings? This is written in Telugu, obviously, you can tell, and this in Hindi. This was made by a friend of mine uh, who's Jewish, who lives in America. He's a writer, screenwriter, playwright. His name is Jeff Dorchin, and uh, he made these paintings for me the last time he had come. And they're very, very special because the bhakti that they have towards our gods is something else. And so when, when somebody enters this home, I know I'm being protected by him. And the obstacles are removed. And then this painting is uh, by a wonderful lady called Saraswati from Hyderabad. She's so talented. My daughter loves Krishna. So anything Krishna, um, somehow we've been really connected and if you look at each of these leaves there is a painting she's drawn faces i mean i don't know how long it would have taken her i can take forever just looking at it come uh yes i'm in bombay i got really lucky I saw about 28 homes in how long? Uh, in a week. I got here on a Tuesday and I said, I'm gonna give myself one week to find a place. And I first saw this and I was like, are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. How can I be living like this in Bombay? But then the gods wanted such a beautiful place for me. I feel so grateful that I was able to find something with so much space as soon as you walk in because some of the places I had to walk sideways and some of the places I could touch the ceiling what I saw but um, this is divine intervention and of course it's filled with paintings and I love creating corners for us to sit and talk this I call like the forest area if you notice this side of it is all darker like black a piano my shiva with red and black there is white and black and then i broke this down with a little bit of color and i my daughter loves tigers it's her favorite animal so another thing 80 percent of the furniture that you see here is from my home in hyderabad i love refurbishing i hate throwing things away there were certain things that i wasn't going to use but i refurbished them and gave it away to my staff because I think these are the little ways that you can really help the environment. I mean, can you imagine all this to be thrown away to just rebuy them? And one of the things that is really important for me as an artist is to have things that I can um, fluidly move around with. Now, if I get a job in America for six months, I can't be like, oh, what do I do? I should be able to pack and move. And so all my furniture, um, is as I call an actor's haven, a producer's haven. This can be moved around. Each of these paintings and artwork that is on my wall has a story. And uh, if you notice, I don't have any figurines. I don't like anything that comes in the way. I love more space for us to walk around. And uh, plants, I love plants. As you know, this is very new. I put this house together very recently. My planters are not there, so don't look at the planters, but look at the plants. Let me take you out before I take you in. Ta-da! Ta-da! 
the beauty of bombay is that very little outdoors <laughs> cuz it's so humid and so hot but then um i got lucky to have found a place with a wrap around balcony i'm not kidding this balcony wraps around the entire house but let me show you this come again i still have some things to put together um i sent someone to pune because pune has the best um best plant so from pune they were all uh, shipped here and they've all survived i it, in my past life i've killed cactus i'm not making this up but now i have plants that live come and of course the beautiful view that's the ocean uh on a nice clear day you can see it but that's uh very rare so this is a very special what do you think this is guesses 1 2 no you're all wrong this is a study table when i was a kid this used to be my study table we would put our books here i mean there is my hari krishna beads in here right now and um this is very special my brother vishnu and i have fought over this pulled each other's hair blood has been drawn over this and who won this dining table the way we put it together the table was bought and these are from hyderabad from from my old um, a uh, dining table we refurbished it changed the cloth the color i wanted a little bit of gold in it and it looked terrible so we just painted it all black i love that i was able to as you can see i always have a speaker and music it's very important to keep the vibe of the place alive with good music my wine cooler without any wine cuz i don't trust any of it being out <laughs> my friends finished it off i'm showing you my lived in house okay i didn't clean it up just because lbb is coming i wanted it to be as organic as possible yes it is usually this clean but come on in so uh, as you can see i still have my birthday gift i mean my diwali gifts all of you get one because i have so many left over um but this is more like my makeup room my um quiet meeting room and then also my meditation room so i love reading uh these cards oracle cards angel cards um star seed oracle the priestess of life Should we pick a card? I think we should. How to love yourself cards, okay? Let's see what it says for us today, okay? Think of a good intention and what you need to be reminded of today. Nothing. Wow, I love these cards. But wait. lifetime after lifetime i am a shining spirit a beautiful light i think this is a great message for all of us to be reminded i am always safe i'm eternal i will go on for ever from experience to experience i love that card i think this is brilliant for all of us more artwork to be put up which i haven't had the time for Now I'll take you into the guest room. So guest room. Guest room is important to have an attached bath rather than step outside to go. So I gave them the bigger room than my daughters because uh Nirvana and I sleep together in the same bedroom. She uses a bedroom just to play. So I thought this was important to give them the nice balcony as you can see every room has a balcony so does this one oh this was bought in oshivara 
Um, make sure there are full length mirrors in every room because we all need to check ourselves out. My hair is okay. I love putting up pictures because every picture has so many stories. My dad had this habit, had, nay has, uh, that every weird picture that he finds that he thinks it's cute, he'll make a big frame and send it home. <laughs> but I've changed those around and I made them more aesthetically pretty to look around. Each of them have such stories. This is a reminder that all you have to do is dream and things happen. Look at me with Mani Ratnam. And uh, Elay Raja Garu, my dad cutting beans. This is when we went for music sittings for one of the movies that I produced called uh, Gundello Godari. And this is Nirvana's room, which is a mess. Come on in. She loves Krishna. As you can see, there's more Krishna here. And more books. I did my best to uh, clean this up. I felt terrible as a mother because I didn't, I didn't realize we just end up indulging and buying so much crap every time they ask for something. But uh, I made her remove all the toys so she's very conscious of what to buy and what not to buy. But books I never say no to. So I have Enid Blytons and Thea Stiltons and these are all gifts that she had got that I don't let her open everything at one time. So every time there's a, there's a celebration like she finished her work on time or she did four days of music practice or so something that she earns for, then she gets to open a toy. So you've seen three of my rooms. This is my bedroom, my private space. Um, okay, come on in. I'm only gonna show you my bedroom and not my closet and my makeup, my, my other foyer, no. Look at this, as you can tell, I love stuffed toys. This is Santa doing a yoga pose and you know where I got this? Finland. And of course, I had to have diamond studded bed. So I remind myself the queen that I am. And also when I wake up, this balcony, I made sure there were more fruity plants. Like there's a lemon tree, there's a pomegranate plant, um, you know, a banana uh, plant because I love fruit bearing plants and uh, I am yet to get my planters, as I said. And as you can all see, there is another Krishna. Where can you get these Krishnas? At ISKCON. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you had fun. And for more such content, don't forget to subscribe to LBB's Homely Newsletter.